Hi guys, I just noticed while I was editing the video that the light strap was in the way So sorry about this guys, but hope you enjoy the video Back to my channel is Medicine Check Look at all these medication Look at this bag full of medicines So basically, I just wanted to talk more about, you know the foundation of this channel is my lupus about my lupus and stuff like that and i just wanted to show you guys the medicine that i take the side effects of these medication and yeah what they're meant to do for me to get me better i'm just trying to fix my camera a little bit oops okay so let me just open this bag um i recently had a rheumatology appointment today not today i recently had an appointment with the rheumatology the rheumatology when was it last week and you know i had to do blood i had to do urine tests and basically the rheumatology they deal with the lupus so they check like your bones if you've got any like ulcers any rashes hair loss they just go through all of these things and they you know they will ask you are you feeling what's been going on and they keep a proper eye on you so i've got basically two bags these are with medicine that i'm um, okay basically okay this green bag here is the medicine that i will go through every week and if these are finished i will dive into this blue bag blue bag you know my head's not working i would go into this white bag and take out the rest of medication so let me see okay so the first tablet that i take is the micro microphenolate and i take let me see i take 500 milligrams a day so i take two tablets in the morning and two tablets in the evening at night time so i need to stock up so that's when i'm going to my white bag and these they look like this so they're really these big tablets i think they come in different colors but my, they do come in white but this one is a kind of gray gray color and they're not chewable you're meant to swallow uh, so with these microphenolates that i take they are meant to kind of give the lupus a little kick up the bark so they meant to kind of keep your body and your lupus at bay and keep it under control but the side effect of this it's not i, I don't the side effect it really lowers your immune system so you know the immune system is important because that's what protects you from viruses so that you don't get sick and things like that so imagine you're taking a medication to make you better for your lupus but also it's making that important immune system so low that you're prone to sickness short story basically when i when i was on these tablets in the beginning and i was working and i was working in a, in a children's center with kids a child had the chicken pox virus in their system but they didn't know that it was in the system because it was a showing and i think a couple of weeks later the child could have come back to come into the children's center because they had chicken pox a couple of days later i had these rashes on my left hand side all over my left hand side and on my back and it was so painful and i was thinking what the hell is this i'm thinking oh my god i'm getting a flare-up i'm having rashes i'm getting so much things going on i'm scared so and it was all blistering and it was so painful to touch so 
I booked the GP appointment and, and I've said to them, you know, I got these rashes. I'm thinking I'm having a flare up. Oh my God, I'm in pain. What should, what should I do? The GP took one look at it and she said, oh my God, Tash, sorry, but you've got shingles. I was like, shingles? I only thought old people would get that, you know? She said to me, no, because you had chicken pox when you were younger and that virus is still in your body. It will naturally still be in your body. And then because you're taking a microphenolate and then that child, you know, you are around that child, you end up having it. It, guys, it was so painful. It was so, so painful. It bled, it turned to sore. I ended up had to go to the hospital because it got infected. I had to be on antibiotics and because the the way the shingle attacked my body was so bad that whilst it got better once it got better i end up with keloid scarring that showed you how traumatic that pain was and then i end up with keloid scarring on the there and on my back and that just really lowered my immune my my self-confidence i was so sad because i had these scars on me and then i end up had to do the um go to the dermatologist and i had to do um these injection i can't remember the name of it but basically they were like steroids injections and you know the lady gave me the pros and the cons and i was like yeah i don't mind i'm happy as long as it can go down and i just want to show you so i'm just going to show you so the front bit guys wait so the guys i was, was saying due to the microphenolate it in, lowered my immune system which made me have shingles which made me had keloid scarring and i had to go to the dermatologist and once they injected the steroids into the keloid it kind of made the results like this so as you can see i don't know if my sister can touch mm. the kind of white bit yes that's where we indented so that was the side effects but then you can still see there's some more keloid like it's forming back again so i need to go back to the dermatologist so guys trust me taking the microphenolate is a lifesaver but it causes issues as well yeah guys so that's what the microfinulate does it lowers your immune system so i have to take it so that's one of the tablets the other tablets that i take is called ramipril 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 and i take 2.5 milligram and i take one in the morning and that's it so this tablet is mainly for the heart or if you've got um not really the heart if you've got high blood pressure and i had i was i had really bad high blood pressure and i do still suffer from it so i have to be i have to be taking these medication because it helps over my high blood my high blood pressure and you know having high blood pressure is not good for the heart so i take this as well side effects of this of taking the ramipril is if you are trying not me i'm just saying with anyone that's got lupus or anything like that should, should know that if you are trying hard to become pregnant or yeah if you're trying to become pregnant you this tablet is a no no because it will affect the baby and it's not good also i forgot to mention microphenolate you should be taking this if you're trying to have a baby because it can cause miscarriage bad problem um in the pregnancy so these two tablets this and no you should be taking so that's one of the side effects of this for this tablet but i take this tablet as once again because of my high blood pressure caused by my lupus and yeah so that's so in total that's like two to like five medication that i take a day the other one is i cannot say this properly lanzoprazole 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 yeah see like that so this tablet 
um i need to get a review on it as well to see if i should be taking this anymore but who knows because i remember i tried to wean myself off it silly tash and my stomach was i was in so much pain but basically this tablet is to help with my stomach because with all the acid and stuff that i was getting and i was getting really bad cramps i was put on these tablets to help with the pain to control just me controlling the pain that i was feeling in my stomach it felt like someone was stabbing me in my belly in the beginning but these tablets kind of keep keeps it at bay and i haven't been really feeling that much pain since i've been on these tablets um and i take 30 milligrams so yeah i need to double check with my gp because i have appointment coming up soon again where i need to do more blood tests that's my normality in my life now and just to see if these medications still need to be on there so that's it the other one let me go back into my bag i take oh i can't see okay so this is a big one i cannot pronounce these names i joe you guys can see at the top or yeah I just glory is kind of a bit mixed up and I take 200 milligrams so this and the microphenolate is so important for the lupus because it kind of keep them at bay kind of just squash it maintain it so this is an important one as well for side effects your eyes the because the lupus it can affect your eyes as well and i was having blurry visions i thought it really everything was a bit dry eyes everything was just hurting me and things like that i was put on this medication because i needed to help with the lupus so just to attack it keep it down this medication gives you eye issues since i've been taking these medications okay so when i was so since being diagnosed with lupus i start to wear glasses right but since being on these medication, I noticed that when I went for my eye checkup, there were slight changes. My consultation at the rheumatologist told me that when when I'm on these taking these tablets, you I should keep a prop I should get a regular checkup on my eyes because the side effects with these is that they can cause problems with the eyes. And this is my thing you have to take this medication to survive and all these side effects it's just like oh come on really but yeah so i just chloric but this is what i'm on as well guys i'm just telling you everyone that's people that suffer from lupus they take different medication for different things because lupus affect people in different ways and stuff like that but this is just my medication that i take so I'm on that one hydrochloroquine and I do know I'm pronouncing it wrong the other one sorry guys my glasses oh I don't want to break it I'm trying to find it. it it was not in my in my bag oops medication here the devil this is one I dislike Predestinal, predestinal, predestinone, predestinone. Sorry, guys. This is basically a steroid tablet, and it's like the bad boy. It comes in and be like, you know what, lupus? I'm gonna attack you. I'm gonna get you. So it just, yeah, it's important. So this is an important tablet, but the side effects: weight gain, the weight gain, the weight game oh once i came once i was diagnosed with the lupus in 2006 2006 2016 i was a lovely well to me i was a lovely 10 stone girl a size 10 girl right bam being on these tablets i put on so much weight I'm in a size 12 trousers. That might not be big for people, but to me, I'm like, oh my God. I'm a size 12. 
and I am what 12 stones 13 stones so I've gained three stones on these medication and on all of these medication I'm just like oh but that's the side effect weight gain and I remember when I was diagnosed they said to me just to let you know that side effects weight gain I'm like yeah right trust me people weight gain so that's one that's the steroid tablet oh my person oh I'll just put that back there oh I completely forgot to show you guys what the tablet looks like um let's do the ramapro quickly so it looks like just gonna ice something these little foily capsule and my one is just these little towers it's like a green and white oh sorry guys i got makeup in my nail green and white that's the ramapro which is for the blood pressure one and uh the Lansoprazole, which is for the stomach, is just basically a white capsule. I'm just trying to take it out. So hard to get in. It's basically a white capsule. Um, like what other tablets do I need to show you what it looks like? The hydrochloricue, saying it wrong, which affects the eyes. It's just basically a round white circle, just a small white circle tablet. And my other, I'm also on Sertraline, Sertraline. This, it doesn't read, this basically is a depression tablet. Depression lupus, you must be thinking, what's that about? The lupus, some of the side effects, it can cause depression because it's the way all the changes in your body and it does to your brain it can make you start thinking a certain way and this may be depressed maybe if it's not if the lupus or whatever but this you know you start doubting yourself because of the weight gain the marks on your skin you know that you just be like a someone that's not able to, you know you're, you're, you're just you're sick you're, you're bed bound at times you can't work properly you know you just not happy and that can change that can cause changes in the brain and your moods are feeling up and down up and down so i take these tablets every in the evening and this is 100 milligram and basically it's just a white it's a little white little thing there and i take that every day the other one that I have, guys, so this one, it is a, I'm laughing, a vitamin D3 because of the, the lack of vitamins and with my complexion and just being weak and not be able to cope and stuff and not getting enough sun. So I take these when I feel like it. So I'm, I'm I should take them every day. I'm nearly finished. Got one, two, three, four. And they're like little clear, little softly capsule tablets that I take. And yeah, that's the tablets that I take, guys. And that's a lot. For someone that wasn't uh, taking tablets or medication, sorry, guys. Um, let me just put these in. Oh got one more tablet to do guys there so so someone that wasn't taking any medication and have to start taking it it's a lot and this one as well so it's basically the same as the other calcium tablets the clear c3 one i've got this is the d3 chewable tablets they're so horrible look how big these are these look like big round batteries these look like batteries that you can put in a bloody TV remote. Look at that. How big is that? I struggle to take these ones. I have to chew it and you have to be like, it's like oh, it's so horrible. It's so horrible, guys. But these are the tablets that I take. And then once the tablets in my green bags are finished, I go to this and get got back up. But guys, I this video really was just about 
the medication and I tell you the side effects of the tablet, what he has done to me. So um, I hope this video has been really, really helpful. And guys, anyone out there that's, that doesn't have lupus, but you know, you, you're feeling some type of way, like you've got aches, pain, you're tired, chest pain, you fatigue, hair loss, you're worrying, go to your doctors. Go to your doctors and say, listen, I've been going through this. Can you do blood tests to mark for lupus trace? And just let them do it. What What's going to happen is either you've got it or you don't. At least you guys will know. So, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Please like, share, leave a comment, and please subscribe, guys. Please subscribe. I just want to get it out there. I just want to... I know you've got so much sources and people and things like that that's trying to do the same thing but i just want it to be out there guys so guys please like my video once again share and please subscribe thank you bye